Yo, what's up guys? We're finally back on the One Piece train. Yeah, the two week break was really bad. It really took a toll on probably not just me, everybody. It, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. But this was a great chapter, more so information based about Big Mom. It was a little fast paced, but it didn't really matter too much. But this was definitely a good chapter. First off, we start off with Big Mom's parents leaving her on Elbath because they couldn't take care of her anymore and she is massive uh, at least for a five-year-old and this goes back to the whole thing with caesar's experiments we know that you know caesar did experiment on kids with candy and he was kind of manipulating their size as well so you know she's about the same size as those kids in punk hazard and she also has this massive craving for sweets which supports that even more so our guess at this point is that big mom is an experiment i also do think kaido is an experiment as well but not not so on the side of big mom you know law did mention that the world government was they started doing experiment on gigantification about what was it 100 years ago so it's looking like big mom was toyed with just like the kids at punk hazard i don't know if vegapunk is involved with this but you know she's definitely not an ordinary human she's she's clearly a giant here and we finally get introduced to mother caramel and she was essentially a nun that would take in kids or orphans that were abandoned and she was really old i wasn't expecting her to be like 80 years old i thought she was like 60 65 uh in the flashback at least but yeah she's 80 years old in this flashback and big mom is about five years old so this is where big mom was supposedly raised you know alongside other races and this probably ties into her wanting every race on her island that's why you have the long long legs the long arms because the kids here also have those same traits so maybe she's trying to like trying to keep uh mother caramel's flow going i'm guessing out of the respect she has for her and that's why she wants everybody she wants all the race to be united but she doesn't have the giants and that's that's clearly hinted in this chapter why there is a problem with the giants and this chapter also gives us a glimpse of why big mom is the person she is today that whole situation with the wolf and the beer and if i recall uh she was trying to like tear off the arms of one of those long arm kids i wouldn't say she's psychotic but she has a good personality at this point but she doesn't exactly know what what's different from right and what's different from wrong and the messed up part here is that mother caramel would always forgive her so i think that also played a part in her not differentiating right from wrong you know if if you keep doing the same thing over again and that person keeps forgiving you you're probably still going to keep doing it over again so you know that didn't really help big mom i feel like uh, mother caramel should have said something different other than forgiving her i mean i mean that is her personality but i definitely think that took a toll on big mom's mind over time again it's all making sense why she's currently like this from this one chapter alone we can like already uh factor in all the equations of you know big mom having issues with the giants uh, why there's in giants on uh total land uh why she has this craving for sweets is all making sense in just in this one chapter which is crazy and we also get to see harajin in this chapter and who would have thought harajin had some backstory with Bingo? not they didn't directly have a backstory together but they were basically in the same place in the same place in the same island elbaf you know both of them did have ties to elbaf but still you know harajin of all people was somehow connected to big mom the man got one shot at back in Trish Rosa. You know, people didn't think too much of that, but this man apparently has some ties to Big Mom. So this was definitely a shock for me. Now, the one thing that shocked me in this chapter is how long giants live. Now we know, I think it was mentioned back in the earlier chapters that um giants live three times more than humans. So I uh, I'm guessing an average human lives for like average 100 years. So, so giants should technically live to about 300 years. And we get to see Yorle and Yarle. I think those are their names. And these guys are like the oldest living warriors uh probably all, all this living uh, giant warriors and they're about like 340 years old which is about halfway from the void century so i wouldn't be shocked if one of these guys knew something about you know what happened in the past maybe didn't know about something with zunisha and yo that's that's definitely crazy like these guys are still i don't know if they're if they're still alive or big mom killed them because it looks like something was about to go down in that last panel but i don't know again this uh, there's there's also things that ties into buggy and dory we still don't we, we still don't know why they're fighting but they're supposed to come back from um you know all the way from the grand line 
to the new world in Elbev to keep the crew going but you know we don't know what happened and it looks like they had a split now the biggest question here is how the hell was big mom capable of defeating all those five giants when she's five years old does she have a devil fruit or maybe it was like a her king's hockey awakening or it could just tie into the the rage modes that um those kids have when they never get candy so i don't know how is she capable of doing that is she like a different breed of like maybe the drugs back then were like crazy stronger than the ones caesar was using but yeah she took out basically everybody on that island i'm not sure why it looks like the whole island was burning down so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there again big mom being five years old and she was this powerful you know says a lot about her being a yonko at this point in time i think i feel like people do sleep on big mom i i mean i sleep on big mom but this flashback is making more sense uh towards big mom's character but yeah this was definitely a good chapter you know we had 20 pages um i expected from oda because the two weeks break the two week break was just awful for us uh and there is no break uh next week uh thank god but yeah like the video if you liked it comment down below it is pharaoh and i will see you guys later peace